What do medical students actually do? Medical students are just like, I guess, any other student, whether you're in college or high school. So you've got your work time, you've got some classes, you've got lectures, and then you go home, do some homework, just like you would in high school or college. And then you can use your free time to do whatever you want to do, whether you want to go out to a club, whether you want to go out to a sports um, event, whether you want to go to uh, the student union. For the first few years of your medical degree, you'll be based at the university. So we'll have a lot of group work, we'll get taught sort of the basic sciences um, that they're the foundation of medicine. So we learn about the human body, how it works, how it, go how it goes wrong. We also have sessions where we get to dissect um, cadavers and we get to learn from human specimens. I remember in my first couple of years I learned how to measure someone's blood pressure. Um, I remember taking um, a pinprick sample from someone's finger. Um, I remember using ophthalmoscopes to look into people's eyes. So you do learn skills as you go along. They'll spend time doing what we call PBL, which is problem-based learning which is having a group activity that you will then try to figure out what is the intended learning outcome from each sort of sentence. Go away, spend time, research that, and then come back and discuss it in a group to make sure everybody has understood the problem in such a way that they can run through the problem again and explain it in good detail. You also have a tutor present, so they're making sure that you, that you are covering um, what you need to cover. So in that sense, you're not really missing stuff out. You have reading lists and stuff that are provided, so you then know the recommended books that you can use and where you can get information from. We don't always sit in the library. We don't always revise. However, a big part of our uh, time is spent obviously working towards our exams. We have lectures throughout the week which is where you sit in a giant room and you have a tutor at the front of the room who teaches you about a particular topic. The university also offer a teaching session so where you, you have actors that come in and pretend to be patients so you can talk to them and if you do make a mistake you're in a safe environment and you're just kind of learning on how to talk to patients. You also get um, a few a few opportunities a year to go into GP practice and to also go on to a ward and it, it is in those first two years it's easing you in. After that you'll move into a hospital where you'll learn more like on the job training. You are going to be in hospital Monday to Friday. You still have your small group teaching but you do get time to go on the wards and it's really to start taking histories from patients, start learning how to communicate properly with patients. These are very exciting aspects because you do feel like part of the team and you are allowed to actually uh, do simple procedures such as taking blood. And then as you get into your fourth year, which I am in now, you feel comfortable in the hospital, you feel very comfortable talking to patients. The final year um, of, of, of study is really focusing on you because of polishing your skills and polishing your knowledge up to become a doctor and be a junior doctor. As well as the learning side, medical students don't only have to be sat behind books constantly learning. You still do have a social life even though there is a lot to take in.